One of the companies making really nice 1911s is Dan Wesson. Keith, what do people need to know about Dan Wesson? Dan Wesson are your guns that are, they're the step up between your entry level 1911s and your semi-custom 1911s. When you pick up these guns, you notice right off the bat, gosh, these are tight, these are built well. You can just tell from the feel of it. Um, but what are some of the features you guys put into these guns? With this particular model, we have, this is a TCP. We have the four inch bull barrel. Bull, uh, the four inch bull barrel is new for these models. We yeah, have just a nice weight out there in front. Right, it gives it a nice balance out there in front mm -hmm. and helps absorb some of that recoil. Also, it features a flat wire recoil spring, which is uh, common with your striker fire guns. And these are both nines, and I noticed right off the bat, running the slide is easy. Yeah, they're very easy because of the weight of the, the slide of itself being in the 1911. Uh, the recoil with the nine millimeter isn't a lot anyways, but with the weight of that slide, it really helps absorb that recoil. It makes them a very soft shooter. Now tell me about the grips on here. The grips on here are, on both guns are a tapered style grip. So the bottom is a standard thickness 1911 grip and the top is a slim grip. Okay. So that offers, gives you the feel that you're pushing your hand right up to the top where you want to be. And it's filling your hand at the bottom, but offers you a nice trigger reach for the, for the save people with short fingers. Very nice. Short fingers. Now, uh, sights, tell me about the sights you guys went with. This particular gun, both these guns, they have a brass bead front sight and a U-shaped rear ledge rear sight for one-handed racking. Now why a brass bead? The brass bead is very similar to say a fiber optic front sight, but it's a lot more durable. So you don't have to worry about that fiber optic breaking or you picking up the gun and your fiber is gone. It's, the brass is gonna be there. All right, the ECP, the TCP, can't wait to shoot these. can't stop. <laughs> that's a fun gun to shoot. Now the ECP, this is kind of the carry package. Yeah, that's right. It's, so this gun, it's got the same aluminum frame as the TCP, but this one has the bobbed mainspring housing yeah. that a lot of people find a lot more comfortable to, to shoot and hold, but also the main reason for it is to cut off this back corner so it doesn't print so much and doesn't bite into you when you're carrying it. Now, um, front strap, uh, mainspring checkering, tell me about that. Yeah, they're both 25 lines per inch on, on front and back. Okay. Uh, the mainspring housing on the ECP will be uh, aluminum to get add, lose a little weight. Uh, the TCP, it's steel. Okay, okay. Now the TCP, you know, it's kind of a little bit bigger package. Um, you've got a little bit more weight out there. You've got, you know, the, you've got the rail system on here. Right. How's this one to shoot? This one's real good. I'll show you. Now, one thing I noticed when shooting this, the front sight, the brass front sight, I like it because, you know, it stands out for me and the rear sight is all blacked out. So you're not looking at that. It's easy to focus on the front sight. All right, so Dan Wesson, the ECP, the TCP, a couple options for you, nine millimeter 1911s, what's not to like? <laughs>